In this video, I'm going to show you how you can create reports and save them onto your drawings or create drawings from the reports in your project. Okay, so reports can be a bit of material reports, they could be a wire to and from list, they could be connector details, purchase lists, that kind of thing. So first of all, you need to create some reports, okay? Uh, some report formats, I should say. So if I go to report format setup, you can see I've got a bit of materials. I can open a format file. You can see I've got a few in here already. I can click on it and then I can then see that it's a, a tallied format. I can then go to the put on drawing section here and you can see these are my settings. I've got insert new. I've got the location where the top left hand corner of the table will fall. I've got the table style. Uh, that should already be saved in your template. I've got the header. I've got whether to show the header uh, on every section or just the first section only. That kind of thing. I've got what layer to put it on, how many sections to put on a sheet, etc, etc, how many rows. So you just look through those settings. This is the um, the put on drawing settings. You've got the save report to file as well, so you can choose to put it to an Excel, an Access, XML, whatever you might want there. You can change the fields here, so we can see what fields are in the report. So I might want tags, I might not want tags. Uh, you can say I've got, so I don't want tags, I want catalog, I want, I've got manufacturer, so I'll just move that in line. Catalog manufacturer item number, I don't want users, I want quantity, and I want overall description in here, and I will have that after my items. I'll have quantity at the top. This is the kind of thing you're going to be doing. In my description, I want description, I don't want those repeated. Uh, this kind of thing, dun, 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 dun. Well, maybe one and two in there as well. Um, so quantity, you've got that's for quantity, you've got middle left for catalogue, middle left for uh, manufacturing, so it's all middle left, look, oh, top left, that's a bit of a faux pas, so just make sure, for me I want them all middle left. Okay, so once you've done all your reports, so you've got all the different types of reports here, you want to format all the ones you want to use first, once you've done that you can then use that format in your automatic reports. Okay, so I'll just save the format file and click done. So I'm going to go to my automatic reports and then I'm going to go, I want to have a bit of materials. That's the one I just used. You can see it's got a table output there. And my first, um, so we're going to have it called, my first one is going to be called DWG006. It's intelligent to know that it will then be 007, 008 after that when it creates multiple drawings and if I click on browse here for the template and uh, I can pick a template All right, so I might want um, should we do a wire to and from list as well yeah I'll add that as well okay so that's two reports I'm generating here right. another good one that people sometimes do is a terminal plan I don't have any reports saved for that yet, so I'm not going to do one of those. Hence the reason you should format your tables first. Once you have done that, you can actually save this report group format. And I'll just stick it in my uh, project folder here. Report group. You see, I've already got one, I'm just going to replace it so that this group can be loaded again and again and again to save having to reload the same groups. Okay, so once we're ready, we'll click OK. That will then run through with a quick save, run through my project, analyzing the project, and creating the reports from my project. There's the bill of materials. There's the wire to and from list. Lovely job. Okay, so I'm just going to take these drawings here and drop them into my report subfolder there. So there you have it. Let's have a quick, have a quick analyze of these drawings. There's my bill of materials, you see. 
Okay, perfect. Then I've got my wire to and from this, so you've got my violet 0.5 wire going from component tag SF0201 pin 2 going to component CB0201 pin A1. That's the wire layer and this is the signal that it is. Okay, so all that information has been created for me, put into a table and put onto my border, into my project. All at the click of a button. Okay, all I need to do now, as you can see, is populate my border at the bottom there. Project, title block update, resequence my sheets, and click OK, project wide, do all. Okay. And that will just apply all my title block attributes as they should be. Okay. If you have any questions on this, please feel free to contact Manor Machine. Thank you for watching. Bye.